All living organisms are sensitive to solar and man-made radio frequency radiation, RFR, and electromagnetic fields, EMFs. Humans need solar radiation to make vitamin D and plants for photosynthesis. Like allergies, human sensitivity to man-made radiation is on a spectrum. Atmospheric electricity and solar flares can also impact health through non-thermal mechanisms well below heating limits. Studies prove this sensitivity beyond all reasonable doubt. Physical sensitivity is different from fear of RFR or EMFs or a nocebo response. People can be sensitized with or without previous conditioning. Heating is a secondary short-term effect of radiation, whereas sensitivity is non-thermal and often builds up over time. Non-thermal EMFs can be both bad and good. Like ionizing radiation, non-ionizing and non-thermal RFR and EMFs can cause DNA damage, leading to cancer. To protect those sensitive to RFR and EMFs, governments should base guidelines on non-thermal effects, such as cancer and sensitivity. Medical advice is to reduce exposure to man-made RFR and EMFs to protect against biological harm. People sensitive to RFR and EMFs need low levels to prevent non-thermal effects. Current high levels prevent only heating. Nobody should be denied public access because they're sensitive to RFR and EMFs. Reducing man-made RFR reduces harmful health effects for everyone.